Hello, everybody. Today we are here in Trinity College. We are going to see the Book of Kells, the long room of the old library, and the buildings here in the campus. We'll take you with us, so follow us along. We are in a pandemic, so here at the entrance, they do checks as they are limiting the entry to the university. We do have a one-way system in place yeah. at the moment, oh. so you'll just have to head down the steps and around the square there. All right. And when you're done in the Book of Kells, if you see the gap between the two buildings just over there, that brings you into Front Square. Um, you're more than welcome to spend as oh, much time okay. as you like there. And um, if you have any questions or you need any help, just look out for someone in a red cap okay. and my colleagues will help you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I believe this is the old library building. So we are about to go in now. That's the gift shop, but that should be the tail of the tour. Now on our right, we are about to enter the uh, exhibit area. Before we see the actual Book of Kells, in here we'll get to learn about it in depth. There's a plethora of information here from the old satchels on display. Um, it's history, the art on the pages, the scribes, the materials used to make the book, and a whole lot more. You can grab this pamphlet. Um, it's available in a few different languages. But some of you may ask, what is the Book of Kells? So it is an illuminated manuscript containing the four Gospels of the New Testament. It's Jesus' life story in this book. It is written in Latin and was believed to be created around 880 by the early Christian monks. Imagine, it has survived after all these many many years, centuries, and it is here with us, preserved. After a good amount of time spent here, then we're ready to see the Book of Kells. The gentleman was saying that the Book of Kells is full of illustration because the uh, people before generally couldn't read. So we're done seeing the book of Kells and we're here in the old library. Glitz, can you smell the I can this, I scent of old books? Old paper. <laughs> I feel like it's a rotten paper. But imagine the pile of books. There's no like termites in there. It's all the way up there. So. Yeah. The long room is the main chamber of the old library. This was built between 1712 and 1732. It is considered to be architect Thomas Berg's greatest building. Sadly, he died two years before it was finished, so he never got to see it completed. I was here about maybe two or three weeks ago and he took out a book and it was 1493 yeah. and it was in perfect condition. Like yeah. the ink is, ink there, is there, yeah. And every book in here, there's 200,000 books, every book in here is a printed book on paper, no manuscripts, but they're all paper, paper and print. And as I said, the oldest one would be late 15th century. Mm -hmm. And that's not very long after Gutenberg invented the printing press about the middle of the 15th century. Mm -hmm. Now, his first printed book was his 42 line Bible. Mm -hmm. And we have some pages from a 42 line Bible, but not the whole book. Mm -hmm. 
but as I said, we have books from 1493 up to late, late, uh, late 19th century. And as I said, some of them are in very good condition, some of them are not. But what they have is, you don't forget, if you have an old book, chances are, particularly in the 15th century, 16th century, 17th century, they didn't get much use because not many people could read or write. Okay. You know, so maybe they might be in better condition than some of the newer books because the newer books might have been used more often. Worth it because mm -hmm. you have to preserve for future yeah. generations. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Imagine in the yeah. 15th century and then yeah. still yeah. here. They have marble busts of famous philosophers, writers, and scientists, as well as certain men connected to Trinity College. On display here is one of the few remaining original copies of the Proclamation of the Irish Republic. This was printed in 1916. Is this like the official symbol of Ireland? You can see the Guinness, Ryanair. This is the national symbol. Awesome. It's okay. Okay, that's the end of our it's annoying because we have to wear a mask. <laughs> Next time we come here, no more masks. When the pandemic, when the pandemic, when COVID over. is gone, over. So we'll head now for our complimentary coffee. Mm -hmm. The souvenir shop. So you can buy whatever you like here. Teaching. Mm. We were in the oh, nice. kitchen. So to get a coffee, you need to go to. Oh, this is the square. I've been here the first time we come. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Let's go for coffee. Our cup of
everybody. Thank you for watching.